guys it's Mimi welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about marriage and how you can keep your marriage happy and healthy if you're interested in this topic let's get right into it so the first thing and of course I have to mention this as a Muslim woman is to keep Allah first in your relationship if you focus on doing what Allah says is right and you believe in treating your spouse the way Allah says you're supposed to treat them, then you're starting everything out great. You'll win every time. Remember to study each other's rights in Islam and take care to actually fulfill those rights constantly. So the next key to a happy marriage is communication. You have to be able to communicate like an adult with your spouse. If you cannot, you're going to have a lot of problems because to be in such a close relationship with someone, you have to be able to talk things out, to express your feelings, to receive your spouse's feelings and just really get your feelings out there because if you don't communicate with your spouse, they're not going to know what bugs you, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, and then you're gonna be angry because they don't know when you didn't tell them. So you have to communicate with your spouse constantly in order for a marriage to work because how can you be the team that you need to be if neither one of you know what's going on half the time. And I can tell you right now, most arguments stem from lack of communication or misunderstandings. You don't need that in your life. So communicate, please communicate. No matter how hard it is, it's always better to talk with your spouse and hear them out and understand where they're coming from and what they're doing and all of those things. So going right from communication, we're gonna slide into listening. You need to listen to your spouse. By that, I mean listen to their wants, listen to their needs, listen to what they say hurts them, listen to what they say makes them happy. In order for communication to work properly, you have to be able to listen. If you're always waiting for your chance to respond, y'all are not gonna get anywhere that's good. If you're not paying attention to what your spouse is trying to tell you, it's going to be bad because it's going to be like there's a brick wall between you and you don't need that barrier in your relationship. Listen to your spouse, listen to where they're coming from and try your very best to put yourself in their shoes and understand them. And that's on both sides, man or woman, wife or husband, pay attention to each other, listen to each other, communicate. Another important thing for a happy and healthy marriage is spending quality time together. There is a difference between being around each other a lot and spending quality time. Quality time is when you're actually paying attention to each other and giving each other what the other person needs relationship wise. Whether that's cuddling and talking to each other or a hug or playing a game that one person may like or something that gives you both a moment to completely pay attention to one another. Look each other in the eyes. Quality time is so different from sitting in the same room with each other and staring at your phones. Quality time is so different from you being in one part of the house and him being in another part of the house. You have to come together and do things that really strengthen your relationship and your bond. Another key to a healthy and happy relationship is to pick your battles. For me, this was something that I struggled with in the beginning of my marriage because I had to learn how to pick my battles. You don't have to fight about every little thing or start an argument about every little thing when you're married, there are going to be things that irks your last nerve that your husband does, but just because it irks your nerve doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing or something you need to fuss or argue about. If your husband has a habit of leaving his 
shoes to the right of the door instead of the left of the door where you want them or putting the shoes in front of the shoe rack instead of on the shoe rack or putting his laundry around the laundry basket instead of in it that I would say you need to pick your battle sometimes it's different if you ask your husband to do something multiple times and he's just ignoring the heck out of you but sometimes it's not worth it to argue about a laundry basket or some shoes on the wrong side of the door like you don't need to argue about everything you have to pick your battles or else you'll be arguing about everything all the time every little thing that bugs you or bugs him or whatever it may be you have to choose what's important to I don't want to say go at it about but really talk about and get down to the nitty gritty because you can't be arguing about everything boo you can't be you can't be tripping about everything and neither can he so choose your battles very carefully and of course in the beginning you want to stick to the things that are important to you and let your spouse know what's important to you but after a certain point once you get past that beginning stage pick your battles remember to keep the privacy of your spouse don't expose what goes on in your bedroom don't expose private conversations between you and your spouse don't expose the intimate sides of your relationships the sides where you confide in your spouse those things that you don't confide with anybody else or even if it's things that you do don't take things that your spouse says outside your home and talk to other people about it don't take things that you do intimately with your spouse do not let other people come into your relationship or know enough to have something to talk about in regards to your relationship to affect your relationship they shouldn't know enough to mess with your relationship so keep that privacy that block from the outside world take care of each other's reputation outside of the home so another important key to keeping your marriage happy and healthy is to respect your spouse in private and among other people I don't think it's good and stop me if I'm wrong when you go in front of other people to rag on your spouse in front of people or to go around other people and expose your spouse's faults or things that are done in private that may not be the best things that your spouse has a habit of doing and things like that. I think that is a form of disrespect and you should work on those things in private together. I also think that having respect in private with your spouse is very important when no one but the law is watching. You need to be respectful of your spouse. I do not agree with cursing at your spouse ever. Do not curse at your spouse. That is so disrespectful. And if you're willing to disrespect them in that way verbally, you'll be willing to disrespect them in other ways that are much worse. So don't do that. Talk to each other like adults and talk to each other like y'all have brains and sense. It's a bad idea all around to disrespect your spouse in any of those ways. Another key to having a healthy and happy marriage is to resolve your issues as soon as possible. Do not wait. If you have an issue with your spouse or they have an issue with you, you should come together and fix it as soon as possible. Obviously, if you're really in your feelings or really upset, you should take some time to cool down first. But once you get your head back on your shoulders and everything straightened out in your own mind you need to come together with your spouse and have a proper conversation about what bothered you what angered you what upset you and how you can fix it so that it does not happen again and I feel like that's the difference you have to talk about how to prevent this anger and this hurt ever happening again you don't want to be in a relationship where you're constantly being disrespected and the same issues keep coming up over and over again when you've already said this is not okay with me this makes me angry this is upsetting to me if your spouse tells you that something like that is happening you should not do it again and if you continue to do so time and time again after they have told you that is 
wronging your spouse. Deal with your issues as soon as they appear, as soon as they happen, or as close to as soon as possible. And you definitely do not want to go to sleep angry at each other because you're giving the shaitan more time to play with your relationship and make something small into something huge. So definitely talk about it, figure it out, do what you gotta do to at least be on level ground until you can get back to joy and happiness. So something that I think is particularly important is to beautify yourself and smell nice and clean for your spouse specifically. And I say specifically because there's a lot of us who will get dressed up and smell good to go out of the house to see other people, but then when we're with our spouse, we do not try to beautify and make ourselves smell good and look nice and all of those things. We save our best clothes for other people and not for our spouse. We save our best face for other people and not our spouse. Beautify yourself for your husband beautify yourself for your wife do the things that they like to see you do if your husband likes to see you in lipstick and heels you know every once in a while give him a little bit of lipstick and heels if your wife loves for you to have your hairline and beard shaped up and straight lines and all that stuff or she likes to smell you smelling good then do that for her put on some nice cologne and get shaped up and you know wear some nice clothes around the house but you should really try even after years and years of being married to always find the time to look good and smell good it's so important to do things that make your spouse feel special and to praise them when they do something well or that makes you happy or just in general just give them a little praise every once in a while because to show your spouse that you are their biggest fan the one who loves them so so much who cares about everything they do who supports them that is so important in a relationship if your wife cooks you a nice dinner say thank you if your husband pays all the bills let him know that you appreciate his hard work and going to work every day but if your wife cleans the house notice it praise her for it make sure you express for everything that your spouse does, your appreciation. It's not realistic to think that every little thing you're gonna remember to appreciate them for, but even if you remember later, say thank you, I love you, I appreciate everything you do for me and every time you think of me. It's so important in a relationship to express how you feel about the other person clearly. You don't want your spouse ever doubting in their mind that you love them and care about them. Express your love. Whatever their love language is, try to give that to them as much as possible so they'll always know and have no doubt in their mind that you care. And the last thing I advise is to just relax a little bit. Sometimes we can make everything so tense and serious. You need to relax a little bit. Be playful with each other. Have fun with each other. Just really lighten up the mood every once in a while. But one thing that I feel like you should definitely be able to do with your spouse is be comfortable and be a almost like childlike again. In a marriage, you should be smiling most of the time. That should be your goal, that you both make each other smile and think of each other with fondness. You don't want to think of your spouse as a burden or someone you can definitely wait to get home to because you don't want to go home. Like You don't want to have that awful type of relationship. Be playful, enjoy each other. Alright guys, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found my tips for creating a happy and healthy marriage to be beneficial um and always remember that the prophet was very kind to his wives he liked to keep a playfulness between him and his wives and we should all have that attitude and keep that 
in our relationship as best as we can. Nobody wants to be fighting with somebody all the time or having negative energy or any of those things. Keep your home happy, keep your relationship happy, and enjoy each other. So I wish you all the best. May Allah bless your current relationship, future relationship, whatever it may be and mean and I pray that you find joy in your significant other. I mean, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at all things Mimi J. And I'll see you guys next time. Assalamualaikum and peace out.